okay so today we will talk about the life cycle of asp.net web page so every asp.net web page has fixed life cycle means when the asp.net runtime receives an incoming request for a given aspx page the associated system dot web dot ui dot page derived type is allocated into memory by using its default constructor so mean mean to say so if i go to this is my web form one where i have a button and if i go to its cs file so you see this there is a partial class web form one which is getting derived from the page class so this if there is a default constructor that is get executed okay after that the framework will automatically fire a series of event so you are requesting web form 1.aspx file so first with what will happen it's default constructor get called and then a series of event get fired so so that series of event is related to page so if you see here page load so this is the one event which is executed by the framework okay and which is called the default if if i if i put a response dot right this is load event so we have seen so far that the page load event which we are using for the post pack and and to to use this event whenever we want to initialize our values at the when the page is loaded but that is not only the event there are other events as well which get fired when we request for a page when a user or a from the browser the request comes to the web server so beyond the load event a given page is able to intercept any of the core events so what are that events so let us discuss that so this is the load event and remember one more thing when we click on a button or or whenever the post back happens so post back happens then it means it goes back to the server and come back so at that time also the page event get fired so which page event get fired that we will see now so first event is let's discuss the page pre init so i'm just writing here page pre init okay so what is page pre init so this event is used to allocate any web control apply themes establish master pages so master pages is uh, we have not discussed so far so we will discuss in our uh, separate lecture but master page is a page which is a parent page of the some content page say an example if we want to put a common information on the header for all the pages so in this example the best way to use is the master page so if we want to establish the master page then we use the pre init so i am writing here in this this is the 
pre init event just to separate out that this is a pre init and let me put a break line here so this is the first event which get executed init means initialize so there is one more event which is called initialize or init now what is init event so this event is set to the properties of the web controls to their previous values via post back or the view state data so as we have seen that view state is view state is the state which maintains the control and data information into some hidden variables so this is the event which which get fired or which set the properties of my controls or the view state so this is for the web controls properties and set the view state <coughs> so if i call this is the in it event now next turn is load event so we have seen the load event and we were using so far in our in our uh, tutorial so when this event is fired the page and its controls are fully initialized and their previous values are restored so at this point it is safe to interact with the web web uh, controls and other parts of the page so see what this views uh, what this page pre init is doing page pre init is you know applying the master pages and the themes or the uh, or actually there is one more concept which is a user profile that also we need to discuss so that all things are happening in the pre init but when we come to the init so init is init is what it is doing it is setting the property of all the controls like its text property its id property blah blah all these things and also the view state data view state data is uh, view state data is also store or keep the information of the controls like button its data and what was its state so that is in the in it now in page load event everything is ready means we are fully initialized the the page and its controls are fully initialized so at this moment if we want to interact with the control say an example you you want to say that uh, i want to uh, set the text property of the button again or or anything which is related to the controls that now I can do it in the page load event so I'm just writing here this is the load event after that if there is a if you are clicking on a button and button has by default uh, means it it triggers the post back so when we click on this button it, the the request goes to web server and come back in that case also the page is reloaded 
so page is re reloaded means so simply we refers to that whichever event caused the browser to perform the postback of the server so it, it means if i say response start response start right button is clicked so here i am saying so we will see that when we click on the button how the events are get called and and at what time or what is the sequence of this button click event so we will see that okay next important event is the pre render so pre render event so when all the data binding and ui configuration has occurred and the controls are ready to render the data into the output http response so now we have a page load and now you know what is the meaning of rendering rendering means when web server converting the data from aspx to the browser understanding language which is the html so now we we have written the code right and the page is loaded with uh, its properties and everything so all the controls data binding and ui configuration ui means user interface has occurred and the controls are ready to render so at that time the pre render is called so if i say here and Okay, so pre-render event is get called here. So that is before rendering. we have one more event which is called the page unload event page unload event so this page unload event means when the page is unloaded means we, we, we are closing the page so the page and its controls have finished and the rendering process and the page object is about to destroy so at this time the it is a or or you want to capture something you know capture this event to perform any page level of cleanup for example you are saying when you close the your page you want to destroy all the open database connections so that we can do with on the page load sections so this event is occurred when page is unloaded
okay so this is the these are the events which get executed so let me save it let's run it so here we see that first the pre init event is called so this is the sequence or the order of the page events get called pre init then init then load and then pre render event is called so if i click on this button so after load that because when i click on the button it also do the post back so post back means it goes to the server and come back so again the page is loaded again the set of events will get fired so when i click on this it will call the page load event data after the load event so so i clicked on this so now you can see page load and then button click is called then pre render and other rest of the events like unload we can call it so here we can see the importance of auto event wire up there is one property in the in the page level auto event wire up so which is true so let's make it false now let us see whether it call all the events or not or the page level event is getting called or not so by default it is true so i made it uh, i made it false now and let me run it again so now you can see that there is no event get fired so that is the importance of that auto event wire up attribute so if we if we make it false then it will not wire up the page level events but uh, but when i click on this button that event will get fired only the page level events are not getting fired but the control level events will get fired 